The book that's been very meaningful to me through Revive Our Hearts is Lies Women Believe. If you had asked me how many of these lies do you believe, I probably would have said, no, I don't believe any of them. I taught Lives Women Believe. Um, I taught that study, I think, four or five times. When you start to teach it for the first time, you think, oh, I know what this is going to say, and then boom, you turn a page, and there you are. Until I started reading them and understanding them, um, I realized that there were some things that I um, that I wasn't clear on. And so the book just kind of helped get me on the right track early on as I was a, a believer and allowed me to minister to other women. In each chapter, I wrote out every verse that she had us look up and then keep them in a note card. So with whatever area I am basically dealing with, I can pull out those note cards and scripture and just keep reciting that scripture to myself, that that's a lie, but here's the truth that's going to set you free. About five years ago, my sister-in-law and I, we did a study on um, lies young women believe with a group of girls from our church. We mostly speak in Russian, so we ordered, we actually ordered books in English and in Russian, so the study was amazing. I mean, I was, I was the one who was supposed to teach the girls, but it taught me so many lessons that I was like, all right, so it's kind of, it kind of did the opposite of what I expected. Because of my depression, I know that mine started from years ago and it started with lies that I started believing. And then as I got older, I started living like the lies that were told to me. And then when I hit 40, the depression came because of the lies. But now that God has freed me from all that depression, that's the book that just means the most to me that I just want to teach to everyone. It's amazing that we have Nancy that can teach us so then we can teach other people 